What's going on world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love, and today I finally want to take a look at one of my favorite breeds, the Boar Bull. The Boar Bull, or the South African Mastiff, is definitely one of my top five favorite breeds in no particular order. The size, structure, and intimidating stance of the Boar Bull is close to perfect in my opinion, but as every good dog enthusiast knows, there's always room for improvement in every breed. In the mid-1600s, Boer, a Dutch name meaning farmer, was given to the German, Huguenot, and Dutch settlers in South Africa. These settlers also brought large and powerful dogs, including some of the Mastiff and Bulldog types. The interbreeding of these dogs to other European lines in South Africa resulted in something called the Boer Dog. These were used as big game hunters and protectors. Further breeding and refinement gave rise to the Boer Bull, or Farmer's Dog. This fearless, agile, and incredibly strong Mastiff specialized in protection of home, family, and property. They were watchful and intelligent enough to recognize the difference between friend and foe, while still remaining obedient enough to be controlled by the ones they protect. Once turned on, a Boar Bull will not back down. If you're still here, please take a second to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also feel free to visit BattlebreakK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. Also if you'd like to check out my merch, go visit BattlebreadMerch.com. Now the Boar Bull became eligible for registration in the AKC on December 1st, 2014 and has been able to perform in the working group since January 1st, 2015. According to the AKC, the preferred height for a male is 24 to 27 inches, while females are usually around 22 to 25 inches. Balance, proportion, and sound movement are of the utmost importance, more so than size. The body should have a greater total length than total height, and the relation between length and height should be ideally about 10 to 9. The coat is short, dense, smooth, and shiny. The skin is thick and loose but fits smoothly and is well pigmented. The recognized colors and patterns are with or without a black mask, however the black mask is desirable. The accepted colors are red, brown, reddish brown, fawn, cream, brindle in any accepted color, and Irish mark. Limited white patches on the legs or chest is permissible. With a piebald dog, meaning a white dog with colored markings, the total area of white may not exceed 33%. Ticking or spotting in the white areas of the coat is a disqualification. Blue colored dogs, any base color not listed, long coat, and a nose being any color other than black are also a disqualification in the AKC. I have, however, seen black, blue, gray, liver, Isabella, and silver boar bulls being registered in other kennel clubs. The boar bull should be well pigmented, especially on the lips, palate, the skin and hair around the eyes, the nose, the paw pads, and toenails. The darker pigment was considered necessary in his country of origin to protect against the sun and the heat. According to the AKC standard, movement is the ultimate test for correct confirmation. The Boar Bull is the most agile of the Molosser breeds and it should be reflected in its movement. The Boar Bull is a dominant and intelligent dog with strong protective instincts and a willingness to please. When approached, he is calm, stable, and confident, at times displaying a self-assured aloofness. He should recognize a threat or lack thereof, and he is extremely loving with children and family. Boar Bulls that are shown in competition should be trained to allow examination. Again, this is one of my favorite breeds. This is my Boar Bull pup, Integrity Boar Bulls Dume 1. Dume is an African word which means bull. I call him Yoshi. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stomp on that like button, subscribe for more free content, visit BattlebreakK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. Also, if you want to check out my merch, feel free to go visit BattlebreadMerch.com. Give this a share on Facebook, I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time, I love you all, and as always, God bless.